new holy land. Hey, let's have the Jews negotiate a sale of these so-called holy lands for petrodollars. Then they can build new holy land on a land grant way down in southern Arizona on the border. Get their newly unemployed soldiers to slap us up holy site replicas and patrol that border. And we won't build no mosques and there won't ever be no Palestinian problem. We'll invite all the Jews to settle out in our desert, which they should be quite used to. Give them two years to get here and $100,000 a piece to get out of Israel and get started here. We'll invite the Christians to relocate their sacred stuff too, but just to be polite. The Israelis can set up solar research labs, perfect electric cars, and engineer clean coal. If we need to, we can concoct a miracle or two just off Interstate 10 to really get things rolling. Then we'll see what kind of a paradise the Arabs can produce without either us or the Jews around. The old Israeli defense establishment can sell not quite state-of-the-art arms to their former enemies, and the astute Jewish financiers can come up with great terms on the loans. The Saudis can then pay the tab for Somalia, Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, Yemen, and Palestine. And we can just grin as the Shiites and the Sunnis demonstrate their everlasting love for one another. Meanwhile, we'll gain our energy independence and leave the Gulf Wall for their stinking camels. We can just laugh as ISIS, the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, and Hamas all turn on one another. We'll have the energetic Israelis here with nobody persecuting them for once in history. Some can go to Hollywood and others to New York to take up mass media and high finance. They'll be free here to keep constantly reminding us all of the Holocaust that they have endured. But we'll get their creativity, their intelligence, their energy, and their uh, forceful opinions. Let the Arabs just go ahead and do what they like with those desanctified former holy places. Why, we'll get some New Age Old Testament Messiah to walk on out of our own desert. It'll be a righteously religious compliment to that other desert monument known as Las Vegas. Listen, it's been 60 years. Can you just point to a better solution or even any real progress? The terrorists will just run out of holy jihadic steam without the U.S. or the Jews in their faces. Then we can fence them off and let them work their shining Sharia law wonders or just bomb their asses. And brother, any Jew who wants to remain must sign a release form and will be completely forgotten. It's time we declare victory in this failed crusade by taking our game somewhere else. Let's just get over them dirty old places in the de desert that all smell like stale goat urine. Here's a chance for peace and the opportunity to build our own profitable new holy land. Let's get them, let them go and turn the whole damn worthless mess into one massive failed state and we'll build lasting memorials here to the innocents that their foolish martyrs killed. The Jews and the Mormons can compete to make the nicest places living in the desert. We'll save so much money on imported oil, we'll buy back our treasury debt from China. There'll be expensive but safe new Holy Land tours conducted by Jewish entrepreneurs. And the Illegalis better think twice about trying to infiltrate our southern borders once the Jews arrive. <laughs>